welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Friday, December the 15th of 2023. I'm coming at you guys with another day of Vlogmas. Vlogmas day number 16. So hopefully you guys have been loving these. We're going to be having a day in the life vlog every night through Christmas Eve. So super exciting. But anyways, I did have to make a detour to the car wash because if you guys saw my vlog from yesterday, I needed a car wash desperately because I took a Walmart delivery order that was a legit nightmare and their driveway was so bad. It had numerous holes like in their driveway and every time I have to go over one of the holes, it would splash mud, splash gunk. So it literally had my tires caked in mud, had the bottom of my car covered in mud. So I needed a car wash. So I went to one of the local car washes here. That's one thing about my town. We have, we don't have a lot, but we have the choice of a bunch of different car washes and a bunch of different fast food or coffee shops. We got a million car washes, but I picked one and I went and got a pretty nice car wash. It was not the cheapest by any means. It was $18, but it was all the bells and whistles and all that stuff. Um, to be able to get the bottom of my car clean because the basic car wash was not going to do that. So I went ahead and splurged and got an $18 car wash. But the cool thing about it right now is they're actually doing a promotion where you could actually get the unlimited for the entire month for the exact same price as one wash. So um, I'm doing that. I just have to go and cancel, obviously, before it ends, which I will do. $18, I can get car washes for 30 days, like for the same price. So, But I do acknowledge that I have to go and get the car washed right away. I didn't. I could have just let it alone and I could have just had, you know, the dirt and the mud all over the bottom of my car and the tires. But I love this car. And when it is clean and shiny black, it just is so nice. It just looks so great. This was not what I wanted my car to look like today. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go and get this washed and all cleaned up. And so I did. So did I have to spend the $18? Like, technically not, but... I did, so what you gonna do? All right, so getting some return Christmas cards sent to you guys. I'm gonna drop this in here and get you guys your Christmas cards. So today we worked on revamping our coupon stockpile. I just needed some better updates to improve the functionality of your organization to be able to find stuff. So we went ahead and did that and took you all along. She coming out of the snow and cold. We've got it nice and warm. from the storm
right, so here is the revamped stockpile. It looks so, so good. I'm going to go through and give you all a specific tour and like up close and all that stuff. So like an end of the year stockpile tour. Pretty crazy. We're definitely low on some things, but there's still some things we have an absolute ton of. Really one of the main reasons we did this is because this is shared with the laundry room and it is so easy for this space to get cluttered with baskets and bins and boxes and all that stuff. So we try to make the bottom of the two like big shelves just ample space to be able to put things. So we got some crates there. That way when I get like Christmas gifts and things that I pick up throughout the year on clearance, I can stash them there. Also, if we want to put like laundry baskets on the bottom of this shelf to the left, that's possible boxes, whatever. So a lot more space, making more space with it and just like renovating it all so we know where things are and it's just the most efficient it can be. So we ended up adding this little white shelf. We've had it for a long time, but ended up adding it to the stockpile. Just got some air care products over here. So like Febreze, Glade, the sprays, the plugins, the warmers. We also got some razors and shaving cream there. We also have a little cart that is currently mostly empty. We have some Christmas candles that I got on clearance last year over there. But the rest of it is empty, so there definitely is room to add on. That's kind of what I liked about how we did this, is because there's room to add things on and make space for things that we need. So I actually was able to condense all my paper towels and toilet paper to just one shelf, which actually made me really sad. I want to have more toilet paper than that, so hopefully we get some more deals. We're pretty good on paper towels. We got a lot of hair products for women over here. Didn't buy sets for some. My grandma doesn't really care. She just wants volumizing shampoo and conditioner. So I did like a line of each for that. I am actually really, really low on men's hair care. So I need some deals for that. And I got plenty of men's body wash. Got a lot of that there. But then the women's body wash didn't have an absolute ton of. So it's kind of weird the stuff you run out of. Got quite a bit of hair stylers. Some feminine products. Really, we could use some more of those. That's not a big amount either. So... I need some deals on some stuff here. Now, still got plenty of mouthwash and lots and lots and lots of toothpaste. So, we are good to go on that. I have some men's there for electric toothbrushes, manual toothbrushes, as well as some like fix it in and like retainer cleaner and stuff like that. So, plenty of that stuff. Oral care, something couponers mostly have a lot of. Got some skincare products there, some bar soap, plenty of Noxema. We, my family uses quite a bit of that. We have some facial products there, some lotions skincare products and then down there like I said just empty space it's kind of what we were going for got some gift sets on the one side there but then this is all empty space which is perfect because the Christmas clearance sales are about to be starting and so we can put some of that stuff there and have it organized awesome also some deodorants we got some deodorants down there and like I said some random gift sets and things like that here we have some disinfecting sprays some toilet bowl cleaner and some sponges and gloves so we got that we got all-purpose cleaner. This is pretty much all all-purpose cleaner on the shelf. And up here we have some like pine saw, that kind of cleaner, Windex, some bathroom cleaner, and other miscellaneous cleaners. Here we have hand soap, as well as some soap gift sets and some hand sanitizers. And up there we have the like trial size Clorox, but there's more room to add other small things on that top shelf, which is great. Paper plates and tissues. Also, we have plenty of Clorox and Lysol wipes. Also, baby wipes. We actually go through quite a bit of baby wipes. So we have Quite a bit of those stocked up on a really good deal on those. Now laundry detergent, we are doing pretty well on detergent, which makes me very happy because we use a lot of that stuff. So glad to have that. Also got a lot of bleach and like spray and wash and the Tide stain removers. But fabric softener, definitely could use more. And same with the Purex, like crystals or Downy Unstoppables and dryer sheets. Not a ton of those. Now we do have quite a bit of finish tabs there, dishwashing items, and a whole lot of dishwashing liquid, which again, I'm very happy about. We use a lot of that stuff. We did it to dip into one of these like cube organizers. It's just kind of like multi-purpose in the laundry room, but using a few of the bins for some like medication items. So we have some first aid things there. Also here we have some more random miscellaneous medication items. We've got couponing. And then in this other bin, we have some like, um, like cold medicines, cough drops, things like that. So very well stocked on those kind of things. But yeah, guys, that is the stockpile, and I'm actually super, super impressed with it. I think it turned out really well. We are able to fit lots of items in there for stockpiling. Items that I got for cheap on couponing deals, as well as Christmas clearance finds, because we're going to be getting a lot of that stuff in the coming weeks. I'm so excited, and now I have a place to put it. So that is going to be great. But yeah, I'm super impressed with the stockpile. Glad my mom and I got this project done today, and it is looking awesome. 
Alright, we were able to have a steak dinner on the cheap, all thanks to some really, really inexpensive organic, like all natural steaks I found in Kroger a couple of months ago, actually marked down to like $4. We got them and froze them and we got them out tonight to have for dinner. It was going to be super, super awesome. So threw together a steak seasoning to, you know, put on the steaks. So use some thyme, paprika, garlic powder, oregano, minced onion, and salt and pepper. And this seasoning was quick easy cheap and really good so for this we needed a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of pepper and then also two teaspoons of garlic powder gonna need about a teaspoon of paprika as well as about two-thirds teaspoon of the oregano of the thyme and of the minced onion so stir all that together get to a really good seasoning blend we put a pat of butter on each of the steaks then we also put that seasoning blend all over them and guys it was amazing we served ours up with some baked potatoes and salad and you know it just came out really really good and it felt like a, like a steakhouse kind of meal that we didn't pay nearly the cost of a steakhouse for so this is great gotta love those reduced meats at kroger before they're about to run out freeze them and get them out when you're ready to have them and you'll save a bunch of money we couldn't forget about our hot cocoa advent calendar for the day so it is day five of the advent calendar which is milk chocolate you can't go wrong with milk chocolate like you can never go wrong with that just a basic hot cocoa flavor you know the drill i warmed up my almond milk for two minutes 30 seconds and i put the powder in then i realized oh my gosh this is way too much milk like it was reaching the top so we had to go ahead and transport it to another cup but it ended up being great this is just like a basic milk chocolate kind of what you expect out of basic cocoa so really enjoyed it simplicity is sometimes like the best things. So oh, really like this one. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on today's vlog. I'm here enjoying my hot cocoa right now. This is really good. So hope y'all did enjoy following me along for another day. Come back tomorrow for another one. And thank you so, so much for watching. To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day. No.